Hi, I'm here to talk about sharing a GPU among multiple containers. Uh, first, as we said, I'm Patrick McQuiggan. I've been working on Algorithmia since 2015. Uh, we run a machine learning and model deployment, serving, scaling, and management platform. and have been working with GPUs and Kubernetes since 2016. Uh, this talk is focused on this issue from Kubernetes, is sharing a GPU to multiple containers feasible? Uh, as the goal is to share a single GPU device among multiple containers on the same virtual machine. As you can see, there's a lot of comments and reactions. However, this issue has been open for over two years at this point. So I'm gonna talk about why is this difficult and what can you do today? Uh, this question is often asked because people wanna know how to do machine learning on Kubernetes, and in particular, uh, use things like neural networks. So neural networks uh, can take a long time to train and execute on standard CPU hardware, but GPUs are specialized hardware that can parallelize these operations and drastically speed up this process. However, cloud instances with GPUs are substantially more expensive than the CPU counterparts. Uh, depending on the instance type, you might spend 10x or more on what you're used to spending. Additionally, cloud providers often have fewer machines readily available and some regions don't have any availability at all. So you wanna be able to do as much as possible with a limited set of resources. So what's the problem? So unlike other hardware resources, uh, the hardware and operating system do not support virtualization in the same way. So while you might be used to things like virtual memory, which virtualizes physical host RAM, uh, there isn't the same type of thing for GPU memory. So there's not the same isolation between processes and you can't do things like over provision and use swap space. Uh, there's also difficulty limiting access to the GPU. So the Linux kernel has control groups, or called C groups, uh, which can limit uh, processes, uh, CPU, RAM, uh, namespacing, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, this is the mechanism that's used to enforce pod limits in Kubernetes but there's no such C group implementation for GPU memory or other resources. <clears throat> there's been some RFCs from vendors, but it's still a long ways off before those get folded into Linux kernel and become generally available for other people in the public like us. Uh, additionally, when multiple process need to access the GPU, only one can run at a time, and there's a context switching problem to load the CUDA context for one process on and the other one off. So even if the device has capacity to run, it might be more efficient to run things in serially rather than in parallel. Uh, to alleviate context switching, NVIDIA has MPS. It's a way to uh, share a single CUDA context between multiple processes, which no, so you no longer have to actually pay that context switching penalty. However, if one process throws an exception, all processes will halt uh, running at the same time, so it's not a great fit for all workloads, in particular if they're really mixed. So what does Kubernetes support? Uh, Kubernetes has device uh, plugins. So the operator of a cluster has to make sure that all nodes, or the nodes in the cluster have uh, drivers, runtimes, or whatever they may need in order to actually support the device. Once you've done that, you have to configure the kubelet to actually declare that I have this device available to the Kubernetes API server. At that point in time, uh, pods can request to use a device, and the Kubernetes scheduler will make sure that pods will only run on nodes that have a device available. However, it does not allow for sharing of devices at this point in time. Um, so Kubernetes is great at assigning pods to nodes based on all these complex resource constraints, and it's also extensible. So you can extend what the definition of a resource might be, and you can also extend the scheduler, and you can choose the way, uh, to change the way that it prioritizes or filters out nodes for running a given pod. Uh, if you combine these components together, uh, you can build your own custom resource management system, such as the GPU share scheduler extender listed here. It's also on that GitHub issue that I linked out earlier. However, uh, just because something is possible doesn't mean that it will solve all of your problems overnight. So running multiple jobs in parallel may negatively affect throughput, as I mentioned. Uh, so you need some performance monitoring to make sure that everything is still running the way you expect it to. And without C groups, limits are not guaranteed, so a process can actually consume more memory than you might have scheduled it for, and so processes might interfere with each other in ways you don't expect. And so you also need to track the actual resource consumption of a pod and build additional safeguards and monitoring. So uh, hopefully you understand some of the challenges of sharing GPUs on Kubernetes now. Namely, isolation and parallelism are difficult with GPU devices. However, Kubernetes is flexible and makes anything really possible, but you need to be able to monitor your workloads before you can fully benefit. So thanks, and for more information on how we do this, come stop by Algorithmia's booth over the next couple of days.